Hey guys, what's up? Johnny from Tech Specs. In this video, I am showing you guys how to jailbreak your iOS 6.0 device. So all you need is iOS 6.0 or above. And the only reason I am doing this is because I believe iOS 5 and iOS 6 have become really stale and they're pretty much the same experience. I don't really get anything out of iOS, so I want more of an Android experience, more of a better experience. So I'm going to go ahead, stop whining, and I'm going to show you guys that I'm running iOS 6.0.1. After that, we're going to go ahead, go to settings, general. This step isn't necessary, so you guys don't need to do this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and erase the whole iPod. I don't really have anything on it, and I just want to make the uh, the procedure really fast and quick for you guys. So after that is done, it's just going to reboot itself. And then we're going to go to general, about, and verify with you guys that we are actually running iOS 6.0.1. So once that is done, we're going to slide to unlock and set up the iPod touch. This will work with any iOS 6.0 or above device, as I stated before. Anyway, so guys, once it is done, I'm going to be using iTunes, it's a lot faster and stuff. I'm going to set up as a new iPod, click continue, so if you guys want to back it up, now is the time. Anyway, we're going to go ahead, click get started, and then in the top corner, click done. So once we have done that, we're going to get our cable, our 30 pin dock connector or 8 pin lightning connector. We just want to connect it into our computer after that. And then of course, our iOS device. So once that is done guys, we can go over to this website. The link is in the description below. It shows you all the compatible iOS devices. If you scroll a little further, it will show you Linux, Mac OS X, and of course Windows. I'm actually using Mac OS X just for this shield break. Uh, it doesn't really matter at all, so I'm going to go ahead and download the appropriate one. Uh, of course, that would be Mac OS X for me. I'm going to go ahead, double click on the installer, and give it some time to do its business. It's going to verify this should take up to 5 seconds or something. Not like it really matters, but anyway. After that, we want to go back to the desktop, open the installer, and drag add evasion to the desktop. We can go ahead and close that now, and then open up the actual jailbreak installer. Once that is done, we can go ahead and click jailbreak, of course, guys. You guys should be able to do this. It's pretty simple. Just follow the on-screen instructions. It's just going to reboot, do its business. Um, it's just going to tell you not to touch your iOS device, so make sure you do not do that. And then it's going to later ask you to tap on the iOS 6 jailbreak icon. Um, so we're going to go ahead, slide to unlock, and now we are actually jailbroken. So we're going to click uh, jailbreak, and now it is completely jailbroken. After it just finalizes the following procedures. So it's just verifying with your iPod. It should exit right out of the application. And then it's just going to reboot one more time, guys. And once that is done, we can go ahead and click exit. And once we have clicked exit, guys, it's going to reboot. Initializing offsets, and it's going to be cleaning up. It's going to be doing all this kind of stuff, guys. So nothing really special going on here. And now we have CDR. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Check out my other content. And thank you so, so much for guys watching. I will be having more videos on the jailbreaks and tweaks and stuff next up. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it.